Hey everybody, Necro VMX here, and today I'm going to show you how making a tool-assisted speedrun works. Now, I'm not going to show you like a lot of the tricks and glitches and exploits and various programs you could use, but basically I'm going to show you the bare basics of how a tool-assisted speedrun is made. If you're unfamiliar with what a tool-assisted speedrun is, basically a speedrun is a run-through of a game from beginning to end, with the emphasis being on doing it as quickly as possible. Although sometimes the emphasis can be on just making an entertaining run, and that's usually done with games that you can't really affect the speed, such as the Abadox run that I showed you, as well as um, something along the lines of like a fighting game, like Street Fighter 2 or something. Anyway, I'm going to basically show you how it works. Now, you're the tool assisted means that you are assisted by a tool. Everything being done in a tool assisted game is done without cheats. It's done only with player input. However, you use the emulator as a tool to overcome limitations such as reflexes. So I'm going to show you how that works. And I'm going to use Abadox as an example. Now every emulator is different and every game is different but they're all basically the same kind of idea. Now back in the old days of tool assisted speedruns people would simply play the games at s in slow motion. These days they use frame advance for even better uh, gameplay control. So uh, where's my controller? Uh, it fell down again. Right, let me grab it. And I'm gonna show you. Now basically like I said now every emulator is different and you're basically going to want an emulator that has the frame advance and re-record features. Uh, for the NES, the best one for this is FCE Ultra or FCE Ultra X. Now if you're not exactly sure what uh, emulators to use, you want to go to this site, tasvideos.org. And this site is actually a great resource, not only of tool-assisted speedruns, but information on them. And uh, you basically click on the why and how right here, and it'll bring up pages that uh, show exactly what you need and which emulators to use. Or you can just go directly to the uh, emulators and you can choose which one and it basically shows you the systems here what emulators they use and the movie format of them so I'm gonna show you how to make a very brief uh, movie of Abadox and uh, I'm gonna use FCE Ultra because that's the one I'm a little more familiar with okay now the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open your ROM so let's type in Abadox oh actually we don't need to it's right there and there's the game Okay, now the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to pause the game. Um, now with each emulator, the pause button is different, but it's usually pause break. If it's not, you can usually set what the button is going to be in the configuration. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is you're going to come to File, and here we have Record Movie. Not Record AVI, that's what I use to make my videos, which you'll see a little bit more in the... Um, upcoming tutorial on how to make YouTube videos of gameplay with commentary. We're going to go to record movie. Give your movie a name. I'm going to call this Abidox Test. You can put info. Macro VMX is a complete badass. And you're going to select record from reset. And you're going to hit OK. Now the game is actually going to reset and it told me movie recording started. Now you're going to want to find out what the frame advance button is. Um, I don't know what the default is, but I have it set to slash. Now every time I press the slash, the game play advances by one frame. If I press a button while... If I hold down a button and then press the frame advance, I will have pressed the button for that frame. So here we have the title screen. I'm going to press start on my controller. I'm going to hold it down and I'm going to press frame advance. Now you'll notice that it didn't do anything and the reason is because what you're seeing on the emulator right here is usually two frames behind your input. Keep that in mind. So now when I hit it frame advance one, two, you can see that it's gone to a black screen which is the next step. Now you're going to want to use 
see now here you're going to want to use a lot of different techniques I'm just going to show you some of the minor ones I'm going to press start here okay and then one two and you'll see how it happens so keep in mind that what you're doing is two frames ahead of what you're seeing so you can actually also hold down the frame advance and it's kind of in slow motion then so here I am I'm moving my character let's say I want to move it in a rhombus pattern like that and there now here comes the eyeballs let's say I wanted to do the trick of weaving in and out of the eyeballs now I might mess up so what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna make a save state so there I just made a save state. Now you want to make multiple save states. I'm going to save one, two, three, four. Three doesn't seem to be working, but I just saved one, two, and four. Now the reason is because, let's say I mess up. I'm going to mess up right here. Oh, I hit that. Now I can reload my save and play again. But let's say you mess up when you're only a frame away. Let's say I met I messed up here and then died. But that when I reloaded my save, I was unable to get out of the way. Now here I'm able to get out of the way, so it's okay. But you can have an earlier save. So let's see, I'm gonna just do the trick of weaving between these guys. See, very easy. It also helps to know a little bit about the game and its limitations. And you're gonna have to experiment a little. Now because the uh, emulator has a re-record feature, every time I load an earlier save, it's re-recording everything that I had recorded since that save. So when you play the emulator movie, it's going to be an uninterrupted movie. It's not going to show all your screw-ups.